So here is the 20th episode of the Pixelmon series, which we are in envyblock.org. So right now, I am auctioning some fossils. Is that I've been going around the ocean floor looking for fossils, and then I just decided to actually auction them out because there's a great deal. Like, this is a great way to make money. All you have to do is look for some fossils, auction them off, and people go crazy with the bidding. So far, I'm going to be going for at least three of each fossil, and whatever fossils I find afterwards, I'm just going to sell them. So just as long as I don't go under the number of three, I'll be good, because I'm still going for 100% on the Pokedex, and of course, you need fossils for more Pokemon. So all of that has been fixed in the bug update of 3.1.1, and what else is there to say? I'm just going to go ahead and auction this off. Hopefully, I'm not going to be in queue. Hopefully, I'll be the one that's coming up right up next. So, auction one, one dollar. There you go. I'm number one in line, so pretty much I am next. And I have no idea what a dome fossil one does or which one it gives you, but I'll find out once I go to the fossil cleaning machine and just pretty much spawn Pokemon out of there. But until then, again, I'm just going to be auctioning off every single fossil that I have up to where number three is. There you go. Wait. Whoops. Auction cancel. Wrong one. Whoops. I forgot. Okay, there you go. Auction one and one. There you go. <laughs> that was embarrassing. I forgot. There you go. There's one person that wants to bid on there. Person has bought my fossil for $103, another person bought it for $101, and there's a lot of people still bidding on it, so that's why I'm just popping it out there, see if more and more people will bid on it. But since it's going to be a point where it's going to be less rare, I'm going to go ahead and change fossils, because a lot of people have already spent it. Oh, look at that, $59. I wonder if that's going to be nice. The one thing I love about this auction now is that they have an anti-snipe little thing or plug-in where you cannot take away somebody. Oh, look, munching potatoes here. <laughs> I thought it was potato. Just pretty much like no one could outbid someone at the very last second. For anyone who does that, it's going to actually add at least, I think, five more seconds to the auction itself. So auctions could take forever if more people keep build bidding $1 more and more and more see if, if anyone will snipe them. Oh, no one's going to snipe more gore. Oh, well. So, $61 for that one fossil. That's a pretty good deal. Let me see. Let me check out my balance. It's going to be at 100 or sorry, $1,750. Okay, time to auction off a different fossil. Let's see if anyone will actually go for that. I could actually put the limit on at least $50 so I know that I'll get a profit, but people go always crazy whenever you do a $1 bid. So, let's see. Oh, Lapis Azuli block. I don't need that. If there's any other auction or item that I want to get, then I'll go for it. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Exit out of that one. I'm still a noob at Minecraft. I don't know which one's which. One's which. Okay, auction off this one for $1, and I'll be next in line. So I gotta make sure that my hand is on that item for whenever the auction ends. So I got a little 25 Kakuna from Wonder Trade with only Harden. Oh yeah, I forgot Wonder Trade's a thing. Let's see, Vulpix, Vulpix, Ordinary. I'm gonna go trade off Vulpix. So, World Trade, six. Oh wait, Wonder Trade, six. Confirm, yes. What did I get? I got a Firo, god dang it. Well, no matter. I guess no one wanted to bid on the Lepi Zazuli block, so I'm up next. Which one is this fossil? It's a claw fossil. I I think that is that think that's gonna be Kabuto. That's just that's just a thing, I think. <laughs> well, one person's only bid one dollar. Really hope I don't sell it for one dollar. Anyone else? Come on, come on. Place your bets. Place your bids. I don't want to get a dollar from this. I guess this is not much of a rarity at this point, or not many people are paying attention. I guess none of the people are paying attention. I'm not going to actually tell them, hey, bid on this, bid on this. It's fine, it's fine. Just as long as I still have at least three of my fossils, and I'll be good from there. So all you have to do if you want to find fossils in a brand new server is that you go to the ocean floor, and you go look where the gravel beds are, and you're guaranteed to find a fossil one way or another. 
especially if it's a brand new, like, this server in itself has been at least two weeks. So, a lot of fossils are going to be found, and once that's done and over with, then it's going to be a rare thing that people may bid top dollar on. But since it's still new, that's where a lot of people are bidding top dollar on this. There's a fossil, right there. This is what a fossil looks like. If, granted that you're in a Pixelmon server that just, again, freshly started. There you go. What is this one? And, yep, I think that's the Dome Fossil. No, I'm not going to actually bid anymore, or I'm not going to auction any more of the fossils just yet. Because I think everyone has already spent their money, and again, I just got a dollar from the Claw Fossil. So, it's not going to be profit right now. So what I plan to do with the money, of course, if there's anyone that's auctioning items that I want, I'll be able to go grab them. Right now I'm looking for a King's Rock, and I think I'm, yeah, I know I'm looking for a Steel Coat, so whenever we get a Steelix, that would be nice. And I could use the King's Rock to get myself a Slow King. That's one of the things I want to get, is a Slow King. I have a Slow Poke that has the enormous growth, so if I were to trade it, it's going to be a giant Slow King. So I think this is how it goes for the growth system. I think it goes from pygmy, runt, small, ordinary, then it goes from huge, giant, and then of course enormous. I got an enormous Arcanine, and I love that Arcanine. It's just so big, it just pretty much you ride it on its back and then you just run around. Just imagine if it was a pygmy Arcanine. It's funny to see pygmies, it's so tiny. Have you ever seen the pygmy Joltik? You can barely see it whenever it's running around on the grasslands. So, it's very, very entertaining. And right now, as of this point, I, the Poke Radar is not in this game or in this up update yet. So, people are still looking for a lot of Pokemon. And we don't know what Pokemon is where, especially due to the fact that with Poke Radar, it helps you find whatever Pokemon are in the region and its own. I know Zora and there's Meowth, Raticate, Drowsy that are spawning near the pretty much spawn, of course. And then you have all the other Pokemon that spawn every other area. I just like the last server where there was Jinx and Hypnos in the ice area that I always go to whenever I want to go fight them, especially when they're level 30 to 40. And every time when I battle them, I get up to 2,000 experience per Pokemon. So far, my Typhlosion is level 67. And I hope to get to level 100 anytime soon. And apparently some people have been in this area because, obviously, you see the holes in the ground. So that is a big indicator that they've been here. Hmm, someone looks, is looking for a Helix Fossil. Is this one a Helix Fossil? If it's so, then that would be nice. I don't know, honestly, but I'm just learning as I go along. Especially when I don't actually write down the names of these things. So let's see what this one is. So once that bid is over, you've already tried to sell a Bizazuli or someone to try to sell the block. No one wanted to buy the block, so I don't think they're going to actually buy the ore itself. Who knows? If people want to build something, they'll build it. Especially when a lot of people don't want to actually go mining. A lot of people don't even want to go through underwater just to find something like fossils. Like this one, for instance. Ah, oh, look at this little fossil right here. And what is it? I think, yep, it's another dome fossil. Hmm, <laughs> good to go. Just one of these ways, or one great way to actually get some money. Which, I don't know if it actually is anything that's game-breaking, but I know I could actually probably trade a person, or trade, like, if someone wants to sell a Pokemon for this amount of money, I'll be able to get it. I almost got a Mew for $3,000, but they said, uh, I don't want the money. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oop, there you go. What is this fossil? And it's... A Helix Fossil! There you go, buddy! Are you gonna buy it? If so, hooray! You better, you better get top bid on this one! <laughs> What's with the table flip? Did you want it or not? Or was that the wrong person? Who did the... There you go, Dead Man. Is this one? Come on, Dead Man. No one's gonna bet on this. <laughs> okay. I guess Helix Fossils are not that rare. Per se. Because I know I've been selling a lot of Helix Fossils every now and then. Nope, I guess no one wants a Helix Fossil. Not even for one dollar? Come on, people. Why not? Well, I guess that this area is kind of cleaned out. I'm just searching around to see if there's any more of the fossils I could possibly find. Hmm. 
or people just found out that I'm actually getting a lot of money from this. But look at that, there's another fossil right here. Yay! Three seconds, two, one. Nope. Uh, I guess no one wanted the fossil. Hey, Jub Jub's online. What's up, Jub Jub? Ah, oh, well. If he says he wants to go on Skype, we'll go on Skype. If not, I guess he's just checking out what he's got. So let's see, let's see, any more fossils I could possibly find? Well, no one wanted a Helix fossil, and I don't think anyone else is bidding, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh my god, I don't even know how to play this game. So what is this fossil? Oh, someone's already... Ooh, a golden apple. Nah, that's fine. I already got some... I got some gold over here already, so I can make myself a golden apple. Okay, so let's see what this one would be. Number one in line, so I'm next. Honestly, you should play Pixelmon. It's so fun, especially when you're actually playing Pokemon and Minecraft at the same time. You could build, you could explore, and of course, you could find Pokemon. And right now, the Pokedex are not yet in this game, and I really want to get my Pokedex back so I can see what Pokemon I need to capture still. <sighs> I also need to organize my PC. That's just one of the things I need to do. It's just, yeah. That's just the OCD factor of me. If I'm going to actually try to find every single Pokemon, I got to organize it. Especially when I need to get another Charmander or Charmeleon or Charizard just so I can have every single one of them. And so far, I'm only able to find Squirtle and Totodile. Croconaw or Wartortle. Those are the only starters I could actually find. Ooh, an Amber Fossil. That is, I know that's definitely an Artidactyl. So let's see if anyone's going to actually buy this one. There you go. There's $1. Oh, there's $2. Come on now. Someone bid. Someone bid more. Come on. I know you guys want an Aerodactyl. There you go. There's $6. $10. 11 Come on. Oh, snap. Someone's calling them out. 16 Oh, look at that. $100. $101. I am definitely going to do another one. So if one person, if two people are willing to bid a hundred dollars, three people, three people are willing to bid a hundred dollars, that is definite profit right there. I can do it at least two more times. Oh, maybe four people. Or those are just the same three just trying to fight each other. So I can at least do it three more times to see if I'm able to get more profit out of this. It's just, it's going to be less competition, but at the same time, look at that. Anti-snipe. People are still auctioning. I'll just auction another one, people. Oh, right. Okay, come on. $115. There you go. Come on. Come on. One second. Who's going to snipe? Oh, there you go. All right. Time for another one. Oh, never mind. I got to wait three more times. Firestone for $50. No, thank you. I've seen some for cheap. I'm good. I have a lot of shards as well. Look at that. All these water shards. I found a... Uh, yep, there it is. 88. Of course. Do the math. I need to go back to school if I don't know how to do addition. So 88 water shards. I'll be able to craft up to, I think it's 8 per, or was it 9? I think it was 9 blocks per per stone. So, poof, almost got at least 9 stones. So once I'm able to do that, I'll be able to sell them for at least probably around $25 per stone. Because I know a lot of people want to get themselves some Vaporeons. Or maybe get like an Articuna because of course when you have the orb right here, when you battle Pokemon, you fill it up and you find a shrine and then you'll be able to actually go against a legendary and try to capture it. Okay, three seconds remaining. One, nobody wanted a Firestone. You should sell it for less. Then you'll probably get it. At least start off with one dollar. Ooh, 69 sugar cane for one dollar. There you go. That's thinking. That's, that's good thinking right there. People are going to bid a lot because of this. So look at that. There's already $8 for it. $9. 10 It just keeps on going and going. Now I'm still looking for some fossils. By the time this video is uploaded, I'm pretty sure that all of the fossils are gone. But you never know. You probably may find them in caves. But the best way to find fossils is through the ocean ground. And again, since it this is a brand new server up to two weeks... Ah, that's where everyone's going to find it. Look at these people. Look at them. They're just fighting neck to neck to try to get some sugar cane. 
Because with sugar, you'll be able to actually create your own candy. Yeah, rare candies. So that's why people are buying sugar. God dang, people. How much money do you guys have? I know I have now $1,800. Okay. Am I next now? Am I next? Come on. Come on. There you go. So are you guys going to bid $100 still, or are you just going to go down to 50 Well, there's $1. Come on, you've bid to up, up to, oh my god, $140. I love you, Entered Blizzard. Nice, nice. That is one great way to stop them. But nope, Dead Man is going up to 141 And if he's willing to bid that, then he'll bid it all over again once I put up another, another Ember. Yeah, I almost forgot what it was called for a second. $150. Thank you, Ender Blizzard. Okay. Good thing I didn't cancel the auction. That would have been bad. Okay, so let me go over here and do another one. So this one right there, the middle one, is going to be definitely my favorite. So I'm going to keep it at three. If I find another one, I'll sell it. Because even if you get a good fossil, a good amount of fossils, you don't know if, whether you're going to get a, a pygmy or an enormous Aerodactyl. So, yeah, that's, that, that in its own is a gamble. Depending on what your preference is. There you go, $155. Now let's see if I'll do it again. Oh, fire, ooh, there you go, that is good. I'll go bid. I want that firestone. Give me that firestone. If, no, if no one snipes me out, then I'll be happy. I think it's that whenever anything goes up to a higher value, there's going to be an anti-snipe little plug-in. But anything that's low, I don't think that's going to happen. $5? Come on, dead man. I'm going to go sell another ember for you. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Ace Plus have now access to PC, so they can actually access their PC at any given time. Oh, lucky you. You got 12 starters. I want 12 starters. This is like a shout-out for everybody who's in the Pixelmon. Look, I'm going to try to do this. Nope, I can't. Too many people. $50? Wow! When when he originally wanted to sell it for fifty dollars, nobody wanted to buy it. But since he went down to one dollar, now everybody's crazy over it. Jub Jub is right. Anti snipe. Look at that. So let's see. Let's see. Is he gonna get it for seventy? <laughs> Jub Jub is right. Whenever you do one dollar, people go crazy. But if you try to do a set amount, nobody wants to buy it. Now what's over here? Uh huh. There you go. Oh, lag. And now we got N, Ed, and C. And then we got a lot of people but still trying to get. I'm probably going to sell another one. Because this is good money right here. Just as long as it does. If the server doesn't, like, you know, do another update to 3.1.2, I'll be fine. Because I'm, I'm afraid that I'll lose my money from there. Unless that's just. A patch update, which your money will be safe. It's not going to be a major update, like a whole entire brand new server like 3.1.0 was. Hmm. That's cool. That's cool. That's still a cool name. Munching Potato. What does that remind you of? Hmm. <laughs> ah, well. So let's see if I'm able to find another fossil. I think this is cleaned out so far. Oh, dead man. Come on, man. You wanted to go for a hundred. I, yeah, I guess that I'm not going to sell another fossil, amber fo fossil anytime soon. So let's go ahead and sell this fossil. What is this fossil? Come on. There we go. Let's see. Auction one of one. Armor fossil. What is this one? I don't even know what this one is. Let's see if anyone actually takes interest in it. Not even for one dollar, I guess. Sad face. Ah, well. I guess I'm going to be selling this one anytime soon. Is that a fossil? Can't tell. Nope, that's not a fossil. Hmm. I wonder why JoJo's not speaking. Is he even... If, is he still in the game? Trying to see, trying to see. I cannot tell. Where's the letter I? The letter I cannot be found. I don't think... I don't think he's here. I think he left. Ah, well. So how much do I have right now? 12! Whoa, whoa, whoa! $2,112! Oh, Ender Blizzard. Oh, thank you. That $1. That $1. I'm $1 richer. Oh, $2? 
Come on, come on, no. Oh. <laughs> oh well. You win some, you lose some. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. Okay, let's try this fossil. Wait, that's three. I'm not gonna go down three. So I'm guessing that this is a rare fossil, so I'm gonna hold on to that. So what is this fossil? Auction one of one. It is a skull fossil. Let's see if anyone is gonna go crazy over a skull fossil. Anyone? Anyone? You're just gonna wait? Playing the waiting game? Or it's probably because I kind of wiped them out of their money, so... Yeah, auctioning is a wonderful, wonderful business to go into. You need to know how much money your the group possibly has, whether or not they're active, and if they're running low on money, then you should stop. It's a gambling type of deal. Up, oh, Ender Blizzard, one dollar. How much money do you even have left? I know you bought a lot of stuff. Morgor raised it up to two dollars. I guess I'm gonna get two dollars out of this again. I'll do one more because I'm I'm nice like that. I don't really care. It's just I'm trying to get the things that I need to get. And helping them out, it's just gonna be beneficial for all of us. Ooh, iron. Even though iron has really nothing good. Oh look at that, everyone's going crazy now. Come on. Three seconds, two seconds, thirty-three dollars, one hundred dollars, one oh one. Oh, I guess he tried to actually snipe him out with thirty-four dollars. Okay. Okay, so if Ender is going to go along with that, I will do another skull. Like I said, it's good money if, they, if they're willing to bid that high. There you go, I'm right after him. Oh my god. I remember when cho choice specs were like so common that you could barely even sell it if you try to sell it for $1. What makes these so special right now? I need to actually look back at my Pokemon X and Pokemon Y game because whenever you go to that little, what's it called, that BP arena, you can look at the items and it'll tell you what they're for. I just don't remember what they're for. I never memorized all that stuff. I'm not that big of a pony Pokemaniac. Remember that guy, the Pokemaniac? It's where you, he, whenever you actually fight him in the first generation, you get to choose either or fossil. Yeah, that was fun. Gravel! Stop it. Stop it. Oh god. I'm next. I'm next. Okay. Whew. $110 for that. I cannot understand this. Oh well. Here you go. Here's another one. You gonna bid $100 this time or are you gonna go low this time? So let's see. Oh, Ender Blizzard. Oh my god, Angie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. $200 for a skull fossil. I'm guessing that you really want this one. Anyone gonna snipe you out because I still got another skull fossil. I'll just go right here, put it right there, and I'll do another auction. This whole entire episode is gonna be auction and me getting more money. Maybe I'll be able to actually have a job actually announcing auctions if I were to speak so fast and not stutter on my numbers, because it's gonna be embarrassing. Like you go from 100 and you actually stutter to $50, I'm like, what the heck just happened there? So let's go over here and get another shard. I want to get one more shard. There you go. There's Oh, look, there's another one over there. So right here. One. And there you go. <laughs> Nobody wanted to outbid them. Okay, auction one of one. Oh, Waterstone for $50. Come on, man. Oh, well. Like I said, I'm going to go for a lot of water shards, and I'm going to sell them a minimum of at least $25 each. So even if peop one person actually bids it, it's a guaranteed $25 profit. How is your Blastoise full on HP then? Well, maybe that they used a potion? Well, s people are going for water stones. Hm, good thing I'm swimming in the bottom of the ocean just looking for water shards. Come on. There's another one right there. So either one person never, or people never explored this area, or they're just looking for fossils and they just say screw it with the water shards. It's still money. I'm going to use the money to buy more Pokemon and items. I know I'm going to buy a lot of Ultra Balls so I could actually get better Pokeballs. Or sorry, yeah, technically it is better Pokeballs. But I want to be able to capture Pokemon at a better success rate. Okay, I'm next. Got to hold the item. Right there. We're going to do another one. Come on. There you go. 
So anyone gonna buy this? Anyone gonna buy this? Come on. Come on. I got more to spare. Oh, look at that. Another fossil. Right here. Ender Blizzard, thank you so much. Didn't you buy my other skull fossil for 140? I'm guessing that you're trying to sell this too for a profit. Because I know people will buy it just for a profit if they're going to get it at a low, low price. So, yeah. It's a gamble. It's a fun little gamble. Of course, it's automatic profit for me because I got it for free. I didn't buy it off of someone else. I just found it on my own, as you saw in this video. And everybody else who's on the server and actually to watch this. Hopefully, they'll find this entertaining too, seeing how many people are willing to spend so much money on a fossil. Granted, again, you get a Pokemon out of it. And more water shards. Oh, look at that. You're going to be so lucky, Ender. No one's actually bidding against you. Three, two, one. There you go. Hope you're happy. Now, I'm going to go with a different item. Let's see if... What is this item? I should have wrote down all the stuff that I'm selling. Okay, one of one. Cover fossil. I think that's not a rare fossil at all. I honestly don't think that's rare. I know when they first started out, people were actually buying it for $500. I was like, wow. The very first time. Yep, Ender Blizzard, you're definitely going to get this fossil if no one else is going to bid on it. <laughs> Skull. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Probably skull. It's not a skull. It says cover fossil. Well, $150. Thank you, Angie. Love you so much. Okay, let's see. If 151 Heck, if Ender wins, I'll sell another one. And Angie will be the one that's going to buy it off of there. <laughs> so, I could still win. Oh, go Angie. Go Angie. What is this? What are these water pockets doing here? Hmm. Thank you so much. More water pockets. This is so weird. Oh yeah, by the way, I turned up my gamma up to a hundred thousand because, of course, there is no what's it called gamma gamma bright mod just yet for this server. So. What you got to do is that you got to go to options. It's not going to be a folder. It's just going to be a notepad little file. You go in there. You go to where gamma is. It's going to say 1.0. Instead of 1.0, you change it to 100,000.0. No commas. You press the red X. It's going to ask you to save. You save it. And if you're already running Minecraft, you're going to have to exit out and then re like relog right there so that it'll actually update the little changes. And then from there, you'll be able to actually go to Minecraft and everything will be brighter from there. So I am done auctioning for now. So the great places or the great times to actually auction is at the night where there's going to be a lot more people. As well as in the afternoon when there's, there's going to be even more people. So pretty much you just do it at the day and night so that it's going to be a mixture. It's not going to be the same people over and over and over again. Because you never know. So let's see. Ah, what a beautiful, beautiful sunset. And I think Jub Jub left. Sad face. Birch log, one dollar? That's actually pretty good. Anyone gonna buy it? Anyone? Anyone at all? Oh, there's one dollar. If it doesn't go above 50, I'll probably, nah, maybe about 10. If it doesn't go above 10 dollars, then I won't buy it. That did not make sense at, at any rate. I need to work on my grammar. It's late. I'm making a video. It's fine, people. It's fine. For those who are new to the channel, I stutter. I have a speech impediment at times. It's just whatever at this point. For those who are pretty much like veterans on this channel that watch my videos, they know exactly what to expect from me. Three dollars. Nice. Is it going to be a countdown? Come on. Come on. Come on. Three, two, I'll bid. Nah, no. <laughs> Bug mania. Nah, I'm not gonna buy it. I'm done. It's fine, because I got a lot of spruce logs anyways from all that stuff. One stone. Oh my god. One stone. Who's gonna buy it for one dollar? 
It's not like you could get so touch and go to a stone and just mine it from there. What do I have? I, I don't think I actually have soak touch. I have unbreaking three and efficiency four. And I'm level 94. I'll be able to get three more pickaxes enchanted. And sadly, like, of course, since it's not the PS3 mine or Xbox Minecraft, I won't be able to actually rage quit and try again. So let's see. Let's see. Try the Irish car bomb. No, thank you. That does not sound delicious at all. So where are any more spots where I could find a fossil? Nope, that's not a fossil. I did find a mine shaft, even though it was just barely like 20 squares across and that was it. There's nothing in there. Nobody bid on a stone. What did you expect? No one would want to bid on a stone. I'm going to sell a moon ball for a dollar. I think some people are actually firing in the background. That's kind of creepy. You can stop now. I'm legitimately scared. That last, that last fire. That's kind of scary. Okay. That was, that was actually pretty scary. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I guess it stopped. I have no idea whether that was a car that was trying to go. Because at times when people go down the roads, it, it backfires at times. But that doesn't sound like a car to me. Ah, well. If it's a car, it's fine. But if it's a gunfire, then I'm guessing that there's going to be policemen going down this neighborhood sometime soon. Well... More fossils! Hooray! Okay. Going down here. Going up. Going up. Okay. Okay. I really don't want to leave this area anytime soon, so... It's gonna be some time before I actually leave this area. It's because... I'm finding a lot of fossils, and I'm gonna get a lot of money from there. And when I get a lot of money, I'll be buying a lot of stuff. How many times have I have to repeat myself afterwards? I gotta stop. I should just end this episode now. I'm just going to continue on just searching for more of these fossils. And from every now and then, I'm just going to keep auctioning them off. I just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on so far. And as well as that, I am doing the Wonder Trade. So, I think it's been 15 minutes since I've done the last Wonder Trade. Let's see what it will I get. Yep. Let's see. From the Drowsy, I'm going to get... A Pidgey. Really? A Pidgey? Seriously? It's a runt. Level 4. Oh yeah, what's this? What's the fear that I got? Huge. Level 21. Ah, well. So, I'm just going to end it off here. With that being said, have a great day, everyone. I'm SortoKing090, and as always, I will see you in the next video.